Hi, this is Don, and I want to take a few minutes to show you how to do auto regression using PHSTAT. This is a data set that I found. It has coal production for the years 1960, drag it down there, through 2007. And I've already saved a little bit of time. When we do auto regression, in this case, I want to do a second order regression. So we want to go back two years or two time periods from the original data. And I label the original data Y sub T. And the second column I'm calling going one year back Y sub T minus 1 and then Y sub T minus 2. All I did was to copy this data in the first column, starting there and dragging down, copy and then pasting it one cell down, one year down, and then pasting it again two years down. And so you get the data to look like that. Now I went ahead and, as I said, label these three columns. Uh, it can get confusing when you start doing the regressions using uh, data analysis, RPH stat, as to where you want to uh, select your, your area. So what I like to do is go ahead and copy just the area I want and again we go from the end of the time t1 to the beginning of the time t minus 2 and I'm going to copy those and I'm just going to paste it over here and then I want to transfer these labels over so I'll remember what they are copy those and paste those and so we have our data moved over a bit so that now we know uh, exactly what we want to use in our uh, regression analysis. If we're going to use pH stat, I'm going to add in pH stat and we go to regression. And unlike data analysis, which only has a single tool called a regression tool, which works for simple and multiple regression, pH stat has a number of tools. And because we're using more than one x value, we're using y of t minus 1, one year back and two years back, that's multiple regression. If you use simple linear regression tool, you won't get the right answer for a auto regression for a, a, uh, a second order auto regression. So I'm going to click on multiple regression. And the first thing we have to do is to identify our y cell, our outcome cell and in this case I'm going to click in there or you can click on this little icon there and I want Y sub T so I'll highlight that area that area and then once I've got it selected I click on the little insert icon and now I want to select my X variables again click on that icon and this time I'm going to select both y t minus 1 and y t minus 2. And once I get that, again I select that little icon and we've got our data there. I've got the default first cell in both range contains a label. I'm going to leave the confidence interval 95%. We want the regression statistics and we want the ANOVA table. And for this purposes, we don't need the rest of these uh, options there. But I am going to go ahead and name my output. So I remember second order. That's good enough. And click OK. All right. And we get um, this output here. We've got our regression information over there. Um, but here is the ANOVA output, is what we need. We've got our multiple R square, or 0.972, which says 98% uh, of the variation in the year T is due to, can be explained by the variation in, in, the, in the years T minus 1 and T minus 2. And here is our output. The overall ANOVA is significant. And for our second order 
and our first order coefficients, we have a p-value of less than 0.05. Remember, we were going for 95%, which gives us an alpha of 0.05. So both of those are significant, which means this slope from zero, because we're rejecting the null that the slope is zero, and this slope is also different from zero because, again, it's significant statistically, and we're rejecting that null hypothesis that this slope was zero. So our equation is pretty straightforward there. We've got our two coefficients and our intercept, and we can write down the regression equation um, pretty simply. That's how you do the autoregression in pHstat.